The second step in using the speed board is what I call hear and feel a balanced stroke. So we've inserted a couple of T's equal distance in the backswing and follow through. And the idea is I can see the T's and I can feel it if I make a stroke and I hit the T's. That gives me some negative reinforcement to say you went too far back or too far through. Try this. See how it looks to your eye and how it feels to the stroke. One of the other features of the speed board is we've set up the holes so that I can create a stroke to the ratios I like. If I like a 60-40 stroke, I can set it up something like this.